All right, so the unit circle, we're going to talk about boundary angles. What do I mean by boundary angles? Well, you already know the exact values of things like sine uh, pi on 4, cosine pi on 6, um, tan pi on 3. What you don't know, or what you do know, but maybe you don't realize you know, is what about cosine 90 degrees? What about sine 180 degrees? What about uh, tan 270 degrees? So we're going to walk us through all of those. So here's our table. We're going to fill this table in by the end of this video. So you'll remember that annoyingly in any of my other videos, I've said here's my point on the unit circle. And don't forget the coordinates of that point are cos theta, sine theta. And I've been really pedantic about saying don't forget the coordinates of that point are cos theta, sine theta. And the reason is because when we come to this video, you can fill in this table all by yourself. Because now if I place the dot here, and I say what are the coordinates of that dot? This is a unit circle, we're on a Cartesian plane. So the coordinates of that dot are x equals 1 and y equals 0. So if x equals 1 and y equals 0, and cos theta is the x coordinate, then we can say that at cos 0, the angle 0, because we haven't moved off the x-axis, so our angle is 0, cos is 1. When we haven't moved off the x-axis, if our angle is 0, sine theta is equal to 0. Okay, I'm going to leave tan alone for a little bit. You can think about that one if you want to. If I move the dot up to here, which is pi on 2, the coordinates of that dot now are 0 and 1. Cos theta, sine theta, cos theta, sine theta, 0 and 1. If I move over to here now, the coordinates of that dot are negative 1, 0. Cos theta, sine theta, that's pi, that's angle pi there. So we have um, cos theta, negative 1, sine theta, 0. Over here, which is angle 3 pi on 2 now, 270 degrees, we have 0, negative 1. 0, 0, negative 1. And finally, if we come back to the start, which is 2 pi, so we were at 0, we've gone all the way around the circle, which is now 2 pi, we're back to where we began. Cos of 2 pi is 1, and sine of 2 pi is 0. Now, what about 10 that I've decided to leave blank? Well, hopefully you remember that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. Now, usefully, they're all over each other already in my little table. So, tan theta is equal to zero, sine theta over cos theta, 0 over 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. Next one. 10 of pi on 2 is equal to 1 divided by 0. You can't divide by 0. That's not okay. So we call this not defined. We don't call it infinity. We don't call it 0. We call it not defined. It's very specific. All right, 0 divided by negative 1. 0 divided by anything is 0. Negative 1 divided by 0 you can't divide by 0, so that's not defined. And 10 of 2 pi is the same as 10 of 0, because we're back to where 0 was. So that's going to be 0. Okay, um, now, what I really hope is that you've got all of the logic of that. So you don't have to remember a table. You don't want to have to remember a table for 30, 45, and 60 degrees. You don't want to remember a table for your boundary angles. You really want to understand that the dot, the coordinates of the dot are cos theta and sine theta, and you're going to use that information to then be able to fill that table out logically and come up with those answers whenever you need them.